Hello, McWarriors! How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Deck. Guys, I have figured out, thanks to you guys, because you left comments, how to actually mount my own vehicles with battle armor, and then we're gonna drop them on the battlefield today. And we're gonna try to mount enemies as well, and try to claw at them and tear them apart. That's the basic idea of today's playthrough. So, let's go ahead and do the one thing that was needed, and that was going to the, the vehicle bay, because vehicles that you already owned before the patch they might seem like they have the carry capacity, but it doesn't work yet. So what we're going to be doing is now is we're going to bring our bandits all the way down here. And I think that's it. Maybe the galleon as well. It cannot even take anybody. The oracle has no compartment as well. The Maxime can do it. And the Sleipnir as well. But I'm not really running the Sleipnir anymore. And I'm not really running the Maxime anymore. Um, Yeah, I think that means uh, we're just going to not waste any time because... Um, getting those vehicles down and readying them up again will actually cost a little bit of time. And that is uh, time that I don't want to spend on everything right now. So get the bandits ready again. And now you can see it's down here to just get them ready. Means we're gonna take the... Uh, the urban mech, I guess? Are we ever building urbies? I don't know. I mean, we have a hunchback in the making. Uh, it feels bad. It really feels bad. Building something and then you find something completely different that's way better. But okay, so let's go and wait for the fatigue to wear off. We also got beta parts now. I know that we are pretty, pretty tough on the money side. However, how much is training modules to? 243,000 sea bills. I want to get them. I mean, we have 150,000. What we need is about uh, 500 additional ones. And we are technically ready to play. I will actually wait for Eric to come back. Here we go. Now, let's take a look at the command center and get into a nice mission. We have a bunch of half scale missions, but I think we can easily go for something like Lowlands, Capture Base. Seems really good, seems appropriate. We're playing against Steiner again. Oh man, these guys don't really like us. But I think one skull is definitely doable for us. Let's get both of the bandits in. We have the Inner Sphere Standard Battle Armor already up and running. And we're gonna get a uh, fang on the g and then there was i think Eckbert on the missile one right these guys are mech pilots so they have no saying in anything here oh yeah let's let's go ahead and play our first mission and when we come back we can actually take a look at an urban mech that we might want to build but again that's that's something that we need to consider since the hunchback is the higher priority and putting in money into this urban mech now where it can also be in the hunchback yeah, I don't know if that's the right choice. But by the way, uh, in terms of how my game and battle plan is with the Hunchback, I got a bunch of options there. I got a hunch of options. So first of all, I could make it a heavy MRM boat because we got two heavy MRM 30s and the appropriate ammunition. We have the cooling needed. We have the fire control systems needed. This thing could actually shred if we want to go for it. But it can also be our first melee mech. We have a supercharger. We have... Uh, we have a decent sized engine, what we don't really have is any melee equipment, but we could make it a little bit punchy and then also give it a lot of laser options so that it is kind of a hybrid and then the more stuff we get in terms of melee stuff, the better we make the hunchback. So there are kind of two options and then we could also uh, just make it an energy boat since we have these large pulse lasers lying around, these medium pulse lasers. Uh, I could make it a very accurate energy boat as well since it has a lot of energy options. So. I love Hunchbacks, just for that reason. They are very good early mechs. In the medium mech bracket. Let's see. Let's see what we're going to be doing with it. So I'm not making any decision before I have the repairs on the Hunchback done. I mean, it doesn't make sense, right? Since by then, we will have a lot of stuff that is in our inventory that we can make our decision uh, with. So, let's see. What is going on here? Why is it taking so long? Are we running into something like a... Like a... Huh. A never-ending circle of death? Maybe? Do they exist still? I know that in a former uh, iteration of Rogue Tech, there were those. Maybe it's not working because I did something with the with the bandits. Alright guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a cut here and we'll see each other in a second. So it seems I just had to reload the whole thing again. Now it's working, now we're gonna begin the mission, and now we're gonna have some fun capturing a base. Let's see what we got here. Alright, we got a warehouse, and that's a pretty big warehouse. 
I like the design of it. I really do. So, let's go ahead and drop somewhere where we have a bit of open terrain because my bandits are slowed down by rough terrain quite a lot. Can I drop... What about down here? Alright. So, what do we have here? I don't know. This is a... It doesn't say... Oh, wait. It does say what it is. Vulcan Commando. The Oracle. The Inner Sphere Battle Armor. This is our bandit. And... Actually... Can I take that back? Yes, I can. Alright. So, um... The mechs go here. 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 Um... Battle Armor goes here. This is where the bandits spawn. And we're gonna drop. I'm pressing ALT, by the way, to manually, individually deploy those. Alrighty then, let's see what we can do. Battle armor is turn 19, the bandits are turn 11, that's pretty good. And we are we are already in active combat, and we have some turrets. Dual mortar, that guy needs to go, quickly. Standard command bunker, probably on those emplacements as well. And I'd say we go in right away. Okay. Uh-huh, we have a complex view of the warehouse. Word of warning that there might be gun emplacements, sure, 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 but no mechs or vehicles. That's a bit unfortunate. Light LB2 turret and a light point defense. So yeah, as I was saying, I want to get this guy down because it has the highest damage potential. Uh-huh. This is where the barrage is coming down and our missiles got intercepted by the command bunker. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go ahead and shoot Follow this with that. a rotary autocannon six times. Here we go. Firing a full salvo. Very good. Ready to rock. Very, very good. So, now I want to see if I can actually mount up on... Not the clan bandit, on the laser bandit. I can confirm. We did it! Alright, 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 alright. So, let's go. Let's do it, everybody. I'm gonna drop some air burst and the missile wreck as well. Special delivery. Horrible misplacement, but okay. Um, yeah, this is oh god, this is where our bandit is moving. We're not really able to do anything because it's like yes, super short it. range. The other bandit, however, might be able to destroy the mortar now with the clan LRMs. Didn't get the criticals that I wanted, and that's my last activation, right? Oh yes, it's retaliation time. That was the LB2 from behind, shooting my oracle. Missiles... Oh, from the command bunker? They got chaff and a minefield and everything, alright. Here come the mortars. And that's what I mean. This thing deals damage. And it now sets my oracle on fire, which is not great. So, I mean, we're kind of making a breach. Commander. That's fine. That's fun. Anyway, let's go ahead and destroy the turret. I know our missiles will probably be intercepted again, but it will probably take away the activation of the AMS. So we can then follow up, maybe. Are you done? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, yeah, let's sprint over here. This would be a wasted alpha strike on the almost destroyed turret, so I'm gonna shoot this thing also six times. Confirmed. No regrets. All in. Let's do it. We have a lot of metal to destroy there. Uh, so this is my battle armor. It activates now, but I had to dismount, correct, in order to get something done. So we're gonna not do anything. We're gonna reserve that. Rafer, get out of the fire, please. Uh -huh. And uh, I guess we're gonna try to destroy this with guided ammo at this point. Fire! Right, Commander. One turret down. Pretty good. Gotcha. Our goal is to capture the base, by the way. And if we do, I think there will be reinforcements quickly after. Uh, sure, I'm running through the sensor mines, but I don't care really. Fire! Guns on target. Twenty-five damage. It's not enough yet. Skipper. Uh, you are done, basically. You're just staying in the thing. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Double time. Cruising. And now I again want to check if the AMS will fire again, since fire. we are shooting missiles. And it will. 
So missiles have no real power over our command bunker. LB2 got a hit on my Oracle. Interesting, 25 damage. And we are blinded again and more sensor mines nice are being try. dropped. Good news is yes, the biggest damage dealer is done. Uh, sure, I'm just gonna move and shoot this. Like this. Saying hi to him. Hi. Again, the missile is completely irrelevant here. Uh, Eric is done, not doing anything since Roger. he is still chilling Venting in the trunk of the bandit. Rock is jammed. Engaging target. Oh, can we even destroy the thing now? I'm not sure. What is it already? Maybe we can. Uh, this seems better. Let's go. Let's roll. Let's roll. And fire. Get him. All right, there's a lot of stuff that is being destroyed, but he's not quite What's down. And I think I will also accept right, some friendly fire by going in with Guided now. It might be that our commando and the bandit is taking some as well. But hey, actually, they don't. So that's a kill. Very nice. Standing cool. By. That opens up our attack against a light point defense turret, against a laser AMS. Ugh, I don't like this. Confirmed. Let's say hi to the LB2 turret. Also capturing the base. I mean, that's what we are here for, right? Roger. So a bunch of them have been intercepted, but only six. That's all right. That is absolutely okay. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. All right, bring it. I'm ready. I got my battle armor, and I, I want them to come to me. Where are they? Learn reinforcements. I'm trying to click this, but nothing happens. Standing by. Yeah. Well then. Moving over here, and this is where they are. So what do they have? A warrior H7 with a ballistic and a missile weapon, a harasser with just one medium laser, Ignis, oh, hey, just two vehicle flamers remaining of the four that he came with, and a javelin with an LRM-15. The javelin is gonna be my prime target for the battle armor. But before we can go there, Engaging. better destroy something here. This nasty point defense turret. Come on, man. You know I like missiles. Don't take them away from me. Uh, Alright, he shot something. Maybe an LB2 or something. Warriors are not known for their big weapon systems. Yes, Commander. Okay, Ruck is up and running again. Let's go. On the move. Moving through here. And you know what? I want this turret down. Therefore, we are going all in again. And we got him. It's perfect. That turret is gone. Armor, cool, cool, right. cool. Sprinting. Getting my ECM into the general area of everybody, which is really good. And then we're gonna shoot some... Guided stuff. I will also shoot my light anti-air missiles, I know. It's really good to attack the warrior. But we have the uh, cluster ammo later. What's it called? Cluster? No. Uh, air burst? Yeah, that's it. That's also pretty helpful. Gonna reserve, Eric. I got you. Just the harasser. Maybe we are taking off to the side, going around here. But I think hmm, straight through the center might be the faster option still. I was thinking about not moving through the forest because it'll slow us down for one turn. But I think going all the way around will take just as long. Maybe. We'll see. What do you want? I mean, this is getting us pretty far. Actually, this will give us a shot at the very least. Fine, I'll do it like this. On my way, Commander. And we're gonna try to destroy the turret because he's gonna—he's really annoying. He's not really doing much, but he's annoying. Alpha strike engage. Some very solid hits, only with 42% chance, but it was really good. Ooh, that's interesting. Now, what's that minefield? Oh, that's a dropship coming. All right. Um. Nice. I'll move and shoot. Roger that. And I will still attack the point defense turret because it will still intercept no matter what I shoot. So I'll just go for that dude. Copy that. And as you could see earlier, only a few missiles will be destroyed. Got the turrets down. Turret destroyed. All right. Skipper. Eric, you chill. 
Cool. Yes, boss. Ariyamaki! We have our arrow back. Ooh. Let me see what we can do. Establishing line of sight is always a good idea, and I think I'm gonna go for Mr. Ignis. And I think we hit him direct. No? Maybe? Yeah, we hit him directly. The smoke is coming out of the tank. So wherever he's going, there's an arrow pointed at his face. That's pretty good. Uh, sprint! On my way. Double time. What now? 30%? 28? I'll shoot like five times. Here we go. Copy that. That is 90 damage. It's all a bit spready, I hear you. you know, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, and this is where we take the warrior down. We have the anti-air missiles. We have the... What's it called? Not smoke, not acid. Air burst. Let's do it. Got it. It's not gonna survive that. Blah blam. I love it. Bang! You're dead. Cool. So, Eric is gonna chill because his ride needs yes. to move more to the front lines. Is that enough? Not sure. Maybe I'm gonna give the Javelin a turn. He might come a little closer. That will be interesting. Great idea. That's perfect. Moving to your friend to hug him when an arrow is pointed at your face. <laughs> He's like, why? Ah, help me. <laughs> yeah, let's see what the other guy is doing. The harasser. Probably moving away, though. I would do it. When a friend comes to me with a ticking bomb. Yeah. That makes so much sense. He's getting as far away as possible. But now the interesting part is, what is the javelin gonna do? My idea is to use the battle armor only to destroy the jav. I wonder if it's possible to do. But still, we invest a single unit that is not shooting while we are in this combat situation to get it to the front line. You know, this is one full unit with a full mech warrior that's not participating in the fight right now. It's not even taken one shot. Not even dealt a single point of damage. Yes. Uh, I mean, I should shoot him in the back, right? All right, I'll, I'll do it like this. On my way, Commander. Here comes the bandit. Are we gonna shoot the Ignis? This is for science. Let's go, friends. Alpha strike engaged. There we go. Hey, and okay. now Eric should be able to mount up. Select a target. 86%! Let's jump! Mount up! Uh, wait. Here we Attack go. success! Oh, look at that! Look at them! <laughs> yes, please. Oh, that was good. And it went straight to the core. Oh, what is going on here? We have untouched armor everywhere. Literally everywhere. Don't mind the structure. That thing came broken when it dropped on the battlefield. The armor is completely untouched, except for center freaking torso. Wow. Commander. Just wow. I love it. So good. Um, yeah, let's go for... Why did I do that? I'm now in the circle as well. I think it doesn't matter, really. And, and, and. I mean... I mean... A little bit. But only a little. Alright, um, I'm gonna move now. Move and shoot. Moving to position. Try to get this guy down. And this is gonna be an all-out attack. Firing all weapons. Mm. Receiving you. I say meh. Not what I kinda wanted. Kick attack 67%. Maybe that's it. Location confirmed. And we have turn 14 and turn 15, so he's gonna get another turn before our battle armor is gonna activate again. That's a miss, that's expected. And the weapons. Alright, 20 damage is not what I want. Waiting on you, Commander. Mm -hmm. So what to do now? I could spy that ping, I could also do nothing. For the moment I think we are fine, we need to let them do something. What is it already? Except... Yes. When we are using Fang, maybe destroy... Uh, minimum distance. Let's go down here. Maybe destroy him. Moving. Let us try that. Let's go. Alpha strike engage. 
And we got him. Very nice. Take that. So, what can I do for you? Rafer is still not doing anything. He's gonna wait for the other guys. This guy is too evasive and the, what's it called, Javelin. I want my battle armor to do the thing. By the way, the way to get off battle armor is either shoot your friend. No, you cannot shoot your friends. Oh no! Or doing that. Wait. What? I think there is a way by, um, by, by rolling over your mech or something or doing some defensive stay there and take these battle armors off of your mech uh, maneuvers. But it will completely waste, waste your turn. Uh, so we lost one of the guys and they are now off. Orders. Unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. But you know what? Oh. I'm wounded, Commander. oh, by losing a battle armor, that is a wound? I think I'm not gonna run them. Let's get the jab. It's an engine crit. Reporting critical hit. But it is not enough. Kidoki. Turn 14. The harasser might come around and try to hit another shot with... <laughs> Never mind. He's not doing anything. No. No, that's not gonna happen. But you know what? What's What, what about Eric? You're taking a turn off now. What's going on? You have no activation, huh? I hear you. That's not cool. Mm hmm. So this is how it works. Well then. Going turbo. Going turbo. I'm gonna go with um. What's it? Guided ammo. Right, commander. Pow. Dealing a little bit of damage at the very least. And we're gonna grind through his armor, just like that. How's it going? Good. Okay. Big punch him. Here comes the pain. Nice. To the shin. And now the weapons to the center. Hey, we got the engine crit. That is a full javelin. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, there's nothing we can really do because the harasser is, it already? Is, is just crazily running away from us. Even if I wanted to pursue him right now, it Holding. wouldn't do anything since he has seven evasion. So here's what we do. We're going to wait for him to come close again. I want to get to turn turn. Because Rafer you, the ultimate weapon against him. I wanted to say spice that ping. But I could also just guided ammo him. Let's Time go. To die. See? Damage is damage. AC2 magazines are empty. A box. Um, let's get in. Copy that. Run around a bit. Yep. Get that going for us. And yeah, our battle armor. Can, can we mount up from here? Are we... F oh! Oh, 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 oh. That's interesting. Can we mount up on our commando? No, no, yeah. the bandit was still there. Uh, but it's cool that we don't have to be right next to the thing. So there is a little bit of tolerance. Going full throttle. All right. Good to know. Also, please vigilance. And then fire. Alright, we, we're gonna get this guy. What do you want? Quite easily, actually. On my way, Commander. And fire. Alpha strike engaged. I really wonder why Fang has a pretty low hit chance comparatively. Waiting for orders. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's nothing that we can do with Ariyamaki, so we're gonna leave him there. Holding. And now turn 17, Harasser laser platform. You can barely call that a laser platform. I mean, technically, it runs a laser on a platform. But it sounds like it is filled with an array of weapons of mass destruction. And he's doing the thing again. Stay here. Arg. I'm gonna pin you now, buddy. Yeah, get rid of that. Waiting for orders. Uh, no direct line of sight. You gotta be kidding me. That's so unreal. No shooting, just running. Fire. Here it comes. Yeah, it's literally no hit. <laughs> it's no not shooting. that these missions would be dangerous or anything. It's just that we cannot hit our things. All right. Affirmative. We're gonna try to circle around him somehow. Eric, you are somewhere. Where are you, Eric? Confirm. You're here in the thing. You're gonna stay in the thing. Um. Yes. Hang. The best chance we have. Let's roll. 
Let's roll. Ooh, could I have hopped from a bandit to a bandit? It might have been possible. Take that, you bastard. Okay, we got it. Nice. Let's go home, everybody. Our mission is done. The warehouse complex is safe. Let's go. Alright. So, yeah, um, regarding the battle armor... The idea is good, and I think these little guys can be really annoying. But I wonder if they are battle variants of the battle armor that might uh, be a bit more dangerous. By losing one part of the battle armor, getting an injury as a result is, is tough. That's really bad, because it'll give our pilot more fatigue and, and injuries. I don't like that. And there's also always a chance to... Um, to get hit when your battle armor is mounted on a mech. I think there is a one-third chance that instead of the mech, when it's getting shot, one of your battle armor bodies is being shot. So it's a very risky undertaking. Oracle, MVP, with three kills. That's interesting. Let me see what we can get here. We can get the beautiful laser platform, but I don't like to. The Ignis, with the four-vehicle flamer array. That's a lot of heat, honestly. The vehicle flamer setup is not bad at all. And speaking of the javelin, we can only take one part. However, I mean, we got three out of four. I think I'm going to finish that thing. And I also do believe that a mortar six on an urban mech is an actual good thing to have. We got two vehicle flamers. That's pretty good, man. That's 10 damage and 10 heat for half a ton plus ammo, of course. The 10 damage is actually not bad. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Mm, engines, fire control system standard, quick cell heat sinks, basic sensors. There's a warfare suite, but it's a quick cell warfare suite. No. Goodbye. So I can take regular heavy flamer ammo, AOE heavy flamer ammo, or is sticky a heavy flamer ammo. It gives me um, negative 5 flamer damage and negative 10 heat, so it deals no heat damage, but it burns for 10 for three turns, so the overall heat buildup is gonna be 30 over time. No, wait, wait, wait. It says 10 burn strength, 3 burn duration, but above it, it says target generates plus 5 heat for two turns. Burning increases the heat generation by 25% on top of that. This, sound, this seems really good. This seems like we shut down enemies completely. But we needed more of these vehicle flamers or heavy flamers in that regard. Ooh, difficult. Difficult, difficult, difficult. The mortar also doesn't come with ammo. But I think it's the right choice to, to take it. So this is all about... Chaff is also pretty good. Uh, this is all about... Getting some items that we can play around with. I'm just hoping to get the other ammo as well. Let's see. So, triple harasser. Not the four. We get, uh, yeah, three parts of an Ignis as well. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Uh, we got chaff. We got LRM-15 mortar. The basic stuff can definitely go. Let's drop it. Basic sensor, single heat sink cooling. That's a bit of extra money. And we get all the ammo for the vehicle flamer. Actually, I misread that. This is the vehicle flamer ammo. Okay, this here is Heavy Flamer ammo. Somebody was running that as well? No, wait. No, no, no. Wait, vehicle... Yeah, I misread, and then I thought I misread, but I didn't misread. Uh, uses Vehicle Flamer ammo. This is Heavy Flamer ammo. So, let's see if that works together, maybe? I don't know. Why would that be here? We might have picked something weird, but there was nothing good anyway. Except for the other tank parts or whatever. We'll check it out, guys. It might be that this is uh, an old tooltip saying it needs vehicle flamer ammo and it now uses the AOE, uh, the, the heavy flamer ammo. Could be. Who knows? The sorting kind of freaked me out there for a second. All right. The other thing that we're going to be doing now, since we still have a bit of time, I want to check out my urban mech. I want to see how much it'll cost us to build it. But we also need to think about our finances and if we can play another mission beforehand. Bit of money to repair, that's okay. We need 615, we we are quite there. That's not much. 200 and about 20,000. 
That's all right. And we still have the freaking commando, which is in horrible state. This is where we're going to get some money. Let's grab that thing. See? What we need is a hunchback at the Vulcan. The commando is all right. Not great. Uh, and then an urban mech and another urban mech. That seems good enough. Let me take a look what we got here. So yeah, it already has an ER, no, an RE medium laser, so it deals more damage to armor, less damage to structure. That's all right. Um, a bunch of heat sinks. And we're gonna put kit in here. We have a kit in there. Never mind, it's already there. Cool. With coolant system as well. Um, a 145 rated core. That should be enough. It's negative five heat sinks, so we have all the heat sinks that we need for a build. But now the big question is, what is our primary weapon? We have a heavy rack, but I don't think we have the ammo. One bin only. It's 30 shots. It's five alpha strikes. I'll say six if we only shoot five times. Ugh, it's not great. It's nine tons. Cannot even run it reliably. And when we take a look at our internals here, I definitely want the clan endosteel and the clan ferrofibrous in our hunchback. However, we can take regular endo. And by the way, I have not gotten any kind of XL engine upgrades yet. Uh, don't ask for it. I, I have a bunch of people saying in the comments, yeah, you should put an XL engine in your max. Yeah, I would if I had one. Risk cockpit is good. Breaching shot and evasion ignore. It's amazing. Uh, we got plus two tactics, guts, armored cowl, sensor detection, and advanced sensors. Really good things. Absolutely fantastic. So the idea is probably to take a missile weapon here. Heavy MRM is also 10 tons. That is a lot. I think I know what I want to do with the little guy. We have a clan LRM 10. It's not much, but it's something. We're going to drop that laser. Yeah, that's how we play it. And since we are double radical emergency coolant system cooled, we could go for something like a big energy weapon. And as I was saying earlier, we got that large extended range pulse laser that deals 54 damage, which is quite cool, ignores evasion and gives us plus one accuracy. Combine it with the risk fire control system, so we ignore two evasion with the pulse. And it has decent range, it has decent damage, it uh, eats up our cooling quite nicely. So it's really good to have those um, weight efficient weapons that generate a lot of heat when you have a lot of cooling. So you can put more stuff in the mech. 60 out of 60. Perfect. And then a bin of ammo and then we I would say we are good. Just a bin of regular ammo. I could also take extended range ammo instead. Maybe not. No, maybe not. It's uh, plus 90 meters minimum range. I don't want that. So we have exactly one ton remaining to get something into this mech. Um, maybe something like a... Tag? I don't think we have any kind of electronic countermeasures or stuff like that available. This is two tons. Omnijammer is gonna go, Bloodhound Prop is not gonna be working, Stealth is not possible. Supercharger is nothing that I want. I don't want any, any of the targeting systems. I think this is fine. Quickly checking. I could put two jump jets in the mech, but that wouldn't be good enough. It's a very straightforward build. But I think it's better than the tanks that we have. So uh, what I'm going to be doing now is I'll take a support system in form of a mine dispenser. You know I love them. But it's a bit risky since I'm running into the, the, the close quarter combat so prominently. I'll take a tag. Put it here. It's fine. It's good enough. 10 days for this urban mech. I love it. Oh, wait. We got chaff. Damn. That's great. Now we can also blind our enemies from far away. Damn. That's good. We can only shoot it, I think, three times. But it's an additional thing that our little Irby can do. And I'm not going to change anything in terms of cockpit or life support or whatever. This is great. Good. Guys, we have a reasonable urban mech in 10 days. That's amazing. So, I would say, 
good time to uh, say goodbye at the very least for now. I hope you enjoyed the episode and if you did, as always, uh, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, the best way would be on Patreon. Link is down below in the description and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.